I love my smartphone, but it doesn't have wireless charging capabilities built in, which I would love. I talked to Jeff about this problem and he's all, you can upgrade any phone to be compatible with your wireless charger. One of the great things about cell phones is that they literally can go anywhere with you and do a whole bunch of stuff, but it does mean that it takes up battery. And one of the challenges I've always had with cell phones is that often my charge cables are not long enough uh, if I'm going somewhere or they're too long because maybe I've bought a 10 foot cable and I just have extra cable kicking around and I hate that idea. I like the idea that I could just pick up my phone, walk away instead of having to finagle with the charge cables and maybe the connections get broken and you're like, oh my goodness, now it's not doing a proper charge. And so when I got this cell phone, I was told that it had wireless charging capabilities and and turns out it didn't. And so I bought the phone, I bought these wireless charge devices, and I was like, this is great, it's gonna be awesome. And I'm putting the phone on, and I'm like, why isn't it charging? And uh, turns out it wasn't what I was sold. But I liked the phone, so I didn't wanna return it. So I thought, you know what, there's gotta be a way that I can make this wireless chargeable. And the answer is, you can. Uh, I did some research and I found out that you can buy some um, wireless charging receivers uh, just anywhere online that you can put into your phone uh, through the charge port and that's how you can wirelessly charge. So in the case of my phone, I've got it in a case and obviously I'm not going to put this inside the phone, but I am going to hook it up to the charge port. And so because my phone is USB-C, that's the connection that I bought. I just plunk it in just like that. And now I have a really thin wireless charging uh, pack on my phone so that I can take it, I can put it on my charge table, poof. And I'm ready to go, my phone's charged, I take off, I don't have to worry about cables. And, uh, and it's really nice, it's really convenient. And I've got a whole bunch of wireless accessories now everywhere in my house. I've got one down on my computer, I've got one in my bedroom, I've got uh, a wireless charging unit in my car, and everywhere I go, I just put my phone, it charges, I'm good to go, I don't have to play with the cables. Now, if you're going to do this with your phone, you wanna do some research. First, find out does your phone have fast charge capabilities? If it does, then there's a couple options available to you when it comes to different char uh, wireless charging packs. Uh, when you're doing that, if you have fast charge available, you wanna look at your milliamps because these, while they look the same, provide different charge rates. This one, 2000 milliamps, this one, 1000 milliamps. So you're gonna get a much faster charge out of this one than you will this one. One of the other things to keep in mind is the thickness. You may not be able to tell, but there's a significant difference between those two. And that's gonna matter, especially with the case that you've got on your phone. The first one that I bought actually was this one. It was a fast charge and I'm like, this is gonna be great, it's really cool. It's crazy thick. And what happened is that my case wouldn't actually go back on my phone because it was too thick and it bulged right out. The other thing I wanna mention is these heat up any of them heat up because it works off magnets. And if you have a metal case, you're gonna need to change your case because the metal cases get extremely hot. And the first time I charged, I went to grab my phone, I actually dropped it because my case was so hot. So if you're gonna convert your phone to a wireless charger, do not use a metal case, use a plastic case. Uh, and you can see, I've got my phone uh, in my case. There's really no bulge at all. Uh, from the wireless pack, but if I put this one on, it would be quite thick and it wouldn't fit properly. So when you're doing your research on wireless charging, you wanna take a look at how thick that is and as well, how fast it charges. The last thing I wanna to mention to you is the length of this little cable. Because where your wireless charge pad is in the back of your phone may interfere with your camera if the cable's too long. So you see on my phone, it's a bit of a longer phone. So I've got some clearance between the camera and the receiver. When I purchased this one, because the cable's significantly longer, you can see that it goes much higher on my phone. And if you have a shorter phone where your camera's a bit lower, this could interfere with your camera. Uh, it could interfere with where the charging port is on your base unit. Uh, one of the units that I have at home that I charge when I um, plug my phone in at, or when I put my phone on the dock at night, the charging port is down near the bottom. And when I had this in, it wasn't connecting because this went too high. 
So keep that in mind when you're converting your phone to wireless charge. And uh, once you've plugged it in, it's kind of a set and forget. I don't have to carry cables with me anymore. I don't have to worry about uh, plugging it in as I go. I just place it down, away I go. And it charges nice and fast. My fast charge cable, I can charge my phone in about two hours. On this unit, it takes me about two and a half hours because it's a fast charge uh, QI receiver. So there you go. You want to take your phone, upgrade it by converting it to a wireless charger. It's just that simple. Find your wireless charging unit somewhere online. Make sure it's compatible with your device, whether it be USB-C or micro USB, whatever it might be. And uh, check the dimensions, check how thick it is, check the length of cable, all those things to make sure it's going to be exactly what you need. And uh, then you're off to the races. Jeff, thanks so much, man. That is a huge improvement on my traditional smartphone. And thank you for watching Category 5 Technology TV for these 14 seasons. We're about to kick off season 15, so make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss out on what's to come. We'll see you next time.